my computer. There we go. So very good evening to all of you. It's our second taste of our um, American uh, diploma um, American uh, wines tasting. And tonight we'll be tasting two red wines. So first of all, welcome to 2021. It's, um, it's, it's the first tasting of our, of our new year, a new decade as well as. Um, it's great to be back. And I must admit that I haven't tasted any wines since the 1st of January. So you know, I'm having a dry January. Well, I'm a holiday. No wine at all. So, and we have two, two red wines from United States of America. And soon we'll be launching our new uh, box, our new um, tasting. And I'm wondering whether you guys would like to um, explore um, new flavors of South America, perhaps, you know, Chile, Argentina, and Uruguay, maybe a little bit of Brazil as well as, or, you know, that's something that we can discuss on our group, or maybe we could be discussing, uh, or we could be moving on either to France or Italy or Spain or, you know, whatever you guys decided, but it's time for us to start deciding where to go and budget as well as. So moving, moving on. Um, we have two red wines. Who would you like to help me um, to start with? Um, the wine number three. I'll be doing my tasting um, um, with you guys. And as you know, I'm on holiday right now from Bonito, which is a beautiful place. I've never been here before. So I'm using um, not the most appropriate glasses, these are acrylic, um, not very efficient, but I think you'll do the trick um, today. Okay, and the um, third wine, uh, medium purple, mm -hmm. and green bell pepper. Green pepper, I felt black plum, ripe black fruit, red fruit, cherry, strawberry, in month dry, acidity medium, medium to medium plus, medium plus, and in month spicy, black pepper, in month black, black fruit ripe, red fruit to strawberry, cherry, white pepper, licorice, and then in medium, soft. Um, body medium, medium plus, alcohol, uh, medium to high, I think high, flavor intensity medium plus, concentration medium, finish medium. I think a good wine, drink now. Um, okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, with regards to quality, where are you? Um, I think it's good wine. I think balanced, but um, high alcohol is um, balanced with acidity. I think so. Hmm. And um, so you think it's rather good. Drink now. You think it's rather good than very good. Um, I think uh, concentration. I lack concentration, finish medium, medium minus. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, do you have an idea how much does it sell for and variety or blend or region, regionality? Mm, I have a doubt and Siha or um, Zinfandel because um, very spice, mm -hmm. very spicy mouth and nose, and uh, acidity medium plus. I think this, I have a doubt in the Siha or Sing from there. Okay. Thank you very much, Alain. Who else can share your thoughts on this wine? I went for pale ruby, medium intensity. Uh, primary aromas such as ripe red cherries, ripe red plum, black plum, raspberry, cranberry. We can sense a little bit of the stinginess of the alcohol in the nose. Mm -hmm. 
so it's a little pungent in the nose because of the alcohol. Um, uh, this in the mouth this is a dry, medium acidity, uh, medium minus, minus tannins, ripe tannins, soft tannins, high alcohol. Um, in the mouth, you got uh, ripe black and red fruit like raspberry, red cherries, red plum, cranberry, and etc. Some uh, black pepper, some ripe um, red bell pepper. Uh, something uh, such as paprika would go for that. Okay. Uh, medium minus finish. Um, it's kind of well balanced, but you have uh, you have alcohol in the end of the mouth, so mm. it's not unbalanced, but uh, it's just balanced, I would say. So I would go for a, a good wine, uh, but low shelf good wine. You know. N uh, uh, simple, economic, well done, Central Valley red wine from the United States, uh, from California, and I will go for Cabernet Sauvignon. Why Cabernet Sauvignon? Because I sense the red fruit, the red cherries, I also have the pepper, the bell pepper, and I don't get the, I don't have the color that I would expect normally from the Zinfandel. And Zinfandel usually have more black fruit. This one is more, to me, I sense more, I perceive this wine more on the red fruit than the black fruit size. Okay. All right. Um, who else can, how about winemaking? Um, I would go for um, mechanic harvest. Uh, high yieldings, um, simple processing, uh, use of uh, oak chips uh, or oak staves, but not oak barrels. I, I guess it has some secondary hints of oak uh, with the black pepper, with some vanilla, hints of vanilla, but it's really subtle, you know. Uh, so I guess uh, this is a wine, simple but improved with uh, some uh, use of oak in, in this case. I will go that way. Um, who else can share your thoughts with me with regards to acidity, with regards to the finish of the wine, um, grape variety, quality? It's a, it's a high acidity, a medium plus acidity. And the varieties, I, I felt a lot of herb, herbs and some tea. So. For me, it doesn't look like a Cabernet, and looks like a blend, uh, right. because it has some tea, some fruit, a lot of spice, but uh, it doesn't resemble Syrah. It should have some Syrah, but it, it has something else, because of the tea. Mm. And, uh, what else? And, and I think it's from a moderate climate, because I felt uh, a good acidity. What do you and the fruits, the fruits were, were ripe, but not too too ripe. Mm. Okay, but think that um, um, high acidity is only related to moderated climate, or is related to the variety. The bo both. Both. Yeah. Good. Yeah. And then, um, so it means that it could come from a warm climate, but have natural high acidity. Yeah. So yeah. think of wines from southern France, or think of wines from southern Rhone, so they, they can have medium plus acidity. I think the acidity is quite high. I mean, I'd go from medium plus to high. But I want to um, draw your attention to one little detail of this wine. I mean, does anybody else want to comment anything about this wine? I felt uh, a little, I, I feel pyrazine when it, and herbs. It, okay. So that's, I agree, it should be a blend. Okay. Because I feel spice, that's not very particular for the Cabernet Sauvignon, yeah. but there is a pitazine on it, that means green pepper. <clears throat> so I would guess for a blend. And the alcohol doesn't surprise me as it is uh, wine from the New World. They have a lot of sun. So they have uh, fruits with uh, perfect... Uh, Maturity, mm -hmm. and you have a full sugar. That's why it, it, it's so uh, high in alcohol. 
and I agree with California. And I think maybe I I I I felt it too strong to be a Cabernet Franc, mm -hmm. but I I can tell that it's pretty zen on it. I I feel pretty zen on it. Okay, um, I think we are all missing. The, you guys are missing one very important point about this wine. Anybody else to share your thoughts, your comments? No? Okay, so I think um, it's a medium, medium ruby wine. But, he, but I agree I with um, Ellen when she says it's purple because it does show that the wine is quite, quite young. Um, and I agree with Vinny when he says it's pale because it does have some, some transparency, but I wouldn't call it pale. I mean, pale would say perhaps a Pinot Noir, but I, I would be in, in between, like th therefore, I would go medium and ruby. But again, that, that's not the main point here. What I get on the wine, I get that the wine is quite, quite fruity forward. So the black fruit, the ripe, the jam, there's a little bit of sweet spice here. There's a little bit of um, um, sweet caramel there. There's a, a, a little bit of um, um, toast and smoke to this wine. But all of it you can get from Cabernet Sauvignon, from Cabernet Franc, from many varieties okay so spicy and peppery hey many wines can give give us that and depends what the treatments that, that, that the juice has has received um yeah I, i'm not 100 percent sure that the wine is dry i mean why why i'm saying that because the wine finished quite sweet taste the wine yes, it's very sweet it finishes very sweet Yes. Does the hey. sweetness come hey. comes from the alcohol? Mm. Go on. What else? I think it comes. I think it comes from the alcohol. For me, the alcohol is really on balance with the other characteristics of the wine. Mm -hmm. Since the you know, alcohol is a little elevated, a little high, the this finish that that, that the, this heat and this sweetness in the mouth and the finish of the mouth, I think that it comes from the alcohol. Mm, okay. Not necessarily the, the sweetness of the wine. I, I, I feel the wine dry to off dry. The, it, it's very, very, how can I say, um, it, it has a very good structure to the wine. So it's dry, it's medium to medium plus body. I would rather say medium plus body. I think that the alcohol is below 14%. I think it's 13 point something below 14%. That's my bet. That's my guess. Um, I do get the acidity high that counter, counterbalance the, the sort of um, plushiness and, um, and, and, and generosity of very ripe and jam and, and, and figs and black fruit and red fruit. Um, again, on the palate, I get this sort of ashy, this kind of um, um, toastiness of the wine. I don't think that it's it's um it's an outstanding wine, but I think it's 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 quite good. You know, I would say very good. Uh, simple, easy drinking, entry level style wine. You know, easy made, easy easy please, easy to please, uh, like a eight dollars pot of wine sort of thing. You know, eight dollars to that ten dollars. Um, the 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 tannins is. You know, I would say medium. First, I went to medium plus, and then I went back for medium. But I think that the tannins are quite raw in a way. I don't know. I don't get that that subtleness or that um, softness. I think the tannins it's a bit raw. You can feel the tannins; they're quite creepy. It could be myself. You know, I haven't been tasting for a while. It could be the glass, but I feel that the tannins are quite present. Um, I don't know, I just brush my teeth, I just, you know, hold on a second. I get a bit of um, stokiness to the wine. Now, I don't know whether it's from the tannins, it's, rather, it's, it's whether from the maturity of, of the grapes and so on. 
but the generosity of sugar rounded up the tanning and rounded up any kind of um, um, it rounds up any kind of um, for either fault or either quality potential of this wine. And this Hesido sugar or this generosity of sugar makes the wine rather ve uh, very good as opposed to acceptable. You know what I mean? Because the acidity is good, the, 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 the juice and, and the concentration, which I would say medium concentration, medium minus finish. Um, but this generosity of the sugar, of the uh, um, ripeness and the jamminess makes the wine better, rounds up and covers up whatever is not really good to the wine. Um, yeah, I agree. I think it's, it's more of a Central Valley, you know, um, California um, AVA as opposed to Lodi, as opposed to Santa Barbara, as opposed to a specific location. And having said that, I think it's rather, uh, because of the Hezido sugar, the generosity of the Finnish palate, I would rather go towards Zinfandel as opposed to Cabernet Sauvignon because of the generosity of the fruit, the gemminess. And then you may say, Thiago, how about Cabernet Sauvignon? Very potent, very muscular, very um, Napa Valley. Yeah, man, yeah, that could be. But those sort of um, Cab Cabernet Sauvignon from Napa Valley, if they had this sort of a residual sugar sweetness to the wine, they would rather have be full body, um, um, pronounced concentration, a long finish, and very clear use of oak. And we don't see that here. We see rather this um, um, rather high acidity, medium medium tannins, and the fruit. So it is a fruit forward, easy drinking, and sometimes. We jump into conclusions, but we forget to pay attention on one little thing. And this little thing could either be the acidity, could either be how the wine finishes. Does it finish dry? Does it finish spicy? Does it finish very tannic? Does it finish very alcoholic? How does the wine finishes? And that's an important question or an important clue to go towards the grape variety, if we were, if you were to explain why do you think it's Cabernet Sauvignon, or why do you think it's Pinot Noir, or why you think it's a Zinfandel, for example. So it's important for you to understand where to say, because of the generosity on the final, um, um, on, the, on the finish of the wine, therefore, I believe it's Zinfandel, or I believe it's Cabernet Sauvignon. Affinity, affinity to oak, or high acidity, or low acidity, and so on and so on. So I think it's a simple wine, but well made, easy pleasy, you know, um, and eight to ten dollars. That's what I think it is. Uh, with regards to how it was made, you know, I think they used a bunch of grapes from all over um, California, um, high volume production. Um, perhaps use of oak, you know, 15% of old oak, like a 30, um, 30, uh, thir um, third, free, uh, third um, fill, you know, so kind of rather old as opposed to new. Why? Uh, micro oxygenation to get rid of tannins, uh, a little bit of um, more openness to the wine, maybe to round it up the wine, you know, for six months or something like that. Is a wine that should be drunk upon arrival to the shop. So um, if I was to guess a vintage, I would say 19, you know, because it's quite it's quite young a color. Um, yeah, that's 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 what I think it is, if I was to bat. Shall we go to our second wine? Um, does anybody has any question with regards to the first one? And then after the tasting, we, we, we will uncover the wines. Okay, but I would stick with um, I, I would stick with good rather than very good. Mm. It lacks um, the finition I to agree. be very good no, for I agree. me. Rather good than very good, yeah. I agree. It finishes warm, alcoholic, and uh, I went for Cabernet rather than um, 
Zinfandel because of the acidity. Mm -hmm. And the tannins of the Cabernet that are lacking here can be justified by the short maceration. This is a, a pale colored wine yep. and a, a low, a low, lower maceration, a wine that is more ready to drink earlier and lower tannin. So it, can, it could fit a, a Cabernet profile. Yeah. Avini, you can say, you know, black, um, dark color, because it does have a dark color. We're not talking about intensity. Dark color, fake skin, okay. Cabernet Sauvignon. You know, black fruit, uh, therefore Cabernet Sauvignon. Affinity to oak, yeah, therefore Cabernet Sauvignon. High acidity and high tannins, therefore Cabernet Sauvignon. So there, there are many things that can lead you to Cabernet Sauvignon. And if you use all those arguments, you may miss the Cabernet Sauvignon point but you may get all the other points. And it's important for you to structure your answer, to know how to structure your answer. Yeah, I, I don't think it's wrong at all. So I move on to the next one. So who can help me here? Okay. Um, ruby, medium, medium plus intensity, dry plum, red fruit, um, strawberry, cherry, but um, um, dried, um, fruit dried, mm. a hint mind, uh, mouth dry, acidity, medium. I think medium plus. Then is medium, mm, alcohol medium, body medium, finish. One moment. <laughs> hmm. Medium. I think this uh, uh, um, all the all the wine. Hmm. It's a color, wine. yeah. Color, uh, yeah. But more fruit, more, more fruit, more plum um, than other. I think this good, very good wine. It's a, a balance, and I felt more walk in this wine. Um, vanilla, cinnamon. Um, I think best walk. Um, is it, would it be French or American oak? Um, what do you think? I didn't, I didn't feel uh, coconut, right? Mm -hmm. Vanilla, cinnamon, mm, I think French or just um, a half, two, two, two types of work. All right, a mix of work. Okay, fine. Perfect. A mix, yes. Um, how about quality? Yeah, I think very good. Very good wine. And um, what would you say with regards to um, grape variety or regionality? Does he have any regionality? Um, I think it's bland because I felt spicy, but more, more fruit and an acidity, um, medium plus yet, but I, um, I can see old wine and um, vintage 2014. Okay. I think it's a very good wine. Um, wh where would you say it comes from? Mm, I think this. Mm. I think this warm climate, but influence altitude or 
ocean because it's balanced and fruit, um, ripe fruit. In this case, I think uh, um, tertiary aromas, yeah. ripe fruit, mm. so, and yeah. influence but warm climb and influence the altitude or ocean. Yeah, I think it's clearly a wine that has some age, you know, like a five to six years of age, you know. Um, yes, but, five years. Six. Yeah, but it, does, it, it doesn't feel a wine that is coming from a warm climate. It's a wine, it's a wine coming from moderated climate. Clearly it's an ocean, ocean um, influence or fog influence. Um, okay, anybody because, else can help me with regards because to Because acidity, because acidity, I, I felt acidity, medium plus, yet, uh, um, and um, um, vintage 2014, mm -hmm. um, I think this influence or blend with another grape with high acidity, yeah? Mm, not sure, but okay. Okay. What else? Um, I put here, uh, go leisure, please. <laughs> okay. Then after that, I, I felt the, the, the wine really spicy with uh, pepper and saffron and um, anise. And I agree, it's older than, than the other one. And the fruits look like they are more jammy. They are more cooked than compared to the other one. So it has some evolution. Mm -hmm. But I, I go uh, a good wine. I, will not, I don't, don't think it's a, a very good wine because it has le uh, less intensity. Uh, the finish is not longer than the, other, the, the first one. So it's, I, I, would, I would go only a, a, a good wine. Yeah. And it looks like for me some uh, Sierra. Or, um, I don't know if it's a blend or uh, only Sierra, but I feel a lot of spice. Uh, okay. Um, you know it's a um, American wine. And you know that um, some um, AVAs, they allowed like 85% um, of the grape coming from one region, the other 25% um, or 15% or 10% could be coming from any other region or any other variety. So if you say it's Cabernet Sauvignon, that could be from 15, 25% up to, I don't know, 15%. It could be another grape variety to the blend without being named into onto the label. So you just okay. never know. So you just never know. But again, what's the key point when we think of a, a varietal here? What, what are the things that are standing out for you guys? Vinny, what's standing out for you in this wine? What is drawing your attention to this wine? For me, well, uh, in the color, it's a pale. I would describe it as garnet. Yep. So it has some decoloration from the age, not really concentrated. So I would expect not a, a really uh, intense maceration for mm -hmm. extracting color or a grape variety that doesn't have much color in the skin. Yeah. So I think the skin um, grape variety, I perceived it with a medium plus intensity and a lot more defined than the other one. I sensed ripe fruits like ripe plum, uh, ripe cherries, and also dried fruits as a tertiary aromas. Yeah. So a lot of spices, so smoke, cinnamon, cloves, cardamom. Some of them could be, come from the grape variety and also the OQs in this wine. But I rather sense more a spiciness uh, than roastiness in this oak. So I don't think they use really heavy roasted oak barrels in this case. Um, uh, and some leather as well as tertiary aroma. So yeah. it's, it's play signs of evolution, but this is an evolving wine. It's not fully developed yet. Um, in the mouth, I perceived it as a dry wine. Uh, also, the alcohol gives some illusion of sweetness or rawness in the mouth, but I, I perceive this more dry than off-dry. Uh, medium plus acidity, 
medium to medium plus, I went for medium plus. Uh, medium tannins, uh, I, I, I perceived the tannins as dusty, you know, a little right. dusty, fine grained but dusty. Uh, and uh, high alcohol, as we don't have medium alcohol, I went for high alcohol, but it's warm here in Porto Alegre. My wines are not real, very, very really chilled, so I went for high, high alcohol. Medium plus concentration in the mouth. I perceived uh, about the same uh, flavors that I perceived in the, in the nose, so ripe and dry red and black fruit, more red and black, a lot of spices, and medium plus finish. So I went for very good. Uh, really uh, well defined, well made, um, well balanced with a nice complexity. So this can uh, this uh, to me uh, shows more uh, um, um, medium quality wine, a very good medium shelf wine. And I would go for Northern California, so a, a moderate uh, region, uh, or even uh, Washington State. So really, really sunny days, but not rainy, uh, with cool nights, a long uh, uh, ripening season. So I would go for, I would go this way okay. in this case. The variety? Uh, I've, I've been struggling. Uh, this spiciness is kind of uh, hindering me. Uh, I, I would I would bet on because of the spiciness and the greenish spiciness, I would go for Cabernet Franc, Cabernet Sauvignon, some of the Carmenes family. Right. What's your acidity? Uh, it's medium okay. plus. Okay, but you said medium to medium plus. You medium didn't to medium say plus, yeah. Medium plus to high. Okay. So, and you also said uh, medium medium intensity of color. So I, I, that, I went for pale. Pale. That doesn't go pale. with Cabernet Sauvignon. That doesn't go with Cabernet Franc. That does not okay. go. That doesn't go at all. Also, um, okay, the leather and stuff. How old is the wine? I would go for six years, six, seven years. Okay, a Cabernet Sauvignon would be that evolved within six years. Mm, and if he does, it would... and if he does, would it be high quality or be lower quality? Uh, that evolves quite quickly. Mm, yeah, okay. That's the key. You see, you know what I mean? So if you think of um, a real Porsche, very good Bordeaux Cabernet Sauvignon based in six years is young. Ten years, yeah. Open it. Twenty years, way. Fifteen years of tanning. So think, because it doesn't taste like a twenty years old bottle of wine. It doesn't taste like a ten years old bottle of wine. And your acidity, my acidity is medium. Yours is medium plus. We are within the same band. So. What's the grape variety? Come on, guys. What's the grape variety that can evolve quite quickly? Six years, as Vinny said, said. Has a medium acidity, medium plus to medium acidity. And could have medium to medium plus tannins. And does have this sort of a leathery, gamey, earthiness, um, red fruit or black fruit. Um, what's a grape variety? You know what I mean? So think, think on the clues. When I asked what stands out on, on this wine, there is two things for me. Acidity, which is not very high, and the evolution of the wine, the bottle aging of this wine. And then for me, the finish is quite finish. And the intensity is quite, the intensity is medium and the finish is quite, quite short, I'm afraid. So I don't think it's an outstanding wine, but I think it's good. It's, it's evolved. It's 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 showing well. It's round and balanced in, in 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 a way. What's the grape variety that can evolve within five to six years, and have this sort of a, a, a identity? That's that's an important question. Does anybody else would like to share your comments before I go on into this wine? Besides, girls in a screw cap. Yes, that's what I saw. A screw cap. So, 
Maria Luísa Silveira. Would you like to share oh, comments nice. with us? I, you know that my daughter does it, <laughs> my youngest. That's not the worst thing. Uh, in the other uh, live system that we use, I'm, I'm Marlene. That's my, my grandmother's in-law name. <laughs> so I have a big problem because everybody uses my computer. What I think about this wine is it seems like, oh, that uh, wine that has some age, has evolved. But why a screw cap? If you have a wine that you want to, to bring uh, age feeling, the, the, the age taste, you don't get a screw cap on it. Because the screw capsule will stop the process. It's, it's airproof. Mm. I will have a cork on it. I, 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 I feel shiha. Okay. That's what I, I think about it. That's, and in the first wine, at the end, when you talk about the tannins, I could feel earth on it. Very mm. earth. Very earthy. So my guess for this is, for the first one is a blend. It was uh, some purazine in it, and the second one is for a shiha, mm -hmm. and it's a uh, wine that will not uh, age. It's mm -hmm. not made to age with a screw cap. Mm -hmm. Okay, but um, would you like to share your your view of the wine? I mean, um, the palate, the acidity. Yes, the I, I can do it. I I agree with the a garnet. Uh, I agree with the nose with a high intensity. I feel tertiary on it. I can feel a little bread on it. A little uh, bread in the mouth. It means to me, uh, letter or bread. Uh, the intensity in the nose, it's medium plus. Aromas tertiary. Sweetness, I will go for sure dry. Acidity, it's medium. The tannins, medium, but very, uh, smooth. I would say that the, it is smooth. The alcohol is medium. The body, for me, it's medium. Flavor intensity, medium. Flavor uh, characteristic, I will go for going for tertiary. Uh, the wine, for me, has a medium finish. It's, uh, it's a very good wine. It's easy to drink because it doesn't have a lot of alcohol on it. And I think it is in the right time to drink. It's not suitable to be aged, to age more. Uh, I will go for Shiha, and I agree with the cooked fruits. Uh, why would you go for, for Shiraz, knowing that Shiraz usually, or Shiha usually makes medium to medium plus to high acidity wines? I mean, it does taste like a cool climate wine, sort of a moderated to cool, to cool like moderated. And that doesn't stick with Syrah. Um, also, the tannins doesn't go with Syrah. It did um, remember me a little from the, the, the North Rhone uh, ship wine. Very, very, not expensive wine. It, like the entrance Gigao wine. Yeah. It did remember it, that with the mouth feeling. But, but I, mean, I just tasted the, the first wine. And the first wine, some of you said uh, high alcohol. And I think, I feel that the second wine shows a much higher alcohol than the first. Perhaps the first wine has more fruit, more depth, more density. Therefore, it doesn't show much of the alcohol. But over here, the alcohol really stands out. I mean, perhaps it's the aging of the wine, you know, that, 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 could, that could be as well as. Maybe okay. Chicago, because in the second wine, the alcohol doesn't stand alone. Mm. In the first one, the alcohol stands alone in the end. And the, in the, the second wine, the, the, the alcohol uh, matches with a lot, a, a couple of other things. Like you can talk a little bit of vanilla on it. Uh, I can feel a little bread on it, cooked fruits. And it pairs better for me with the acidity than the first wine. wine. I don't know. As a matter of fact, I didn't remember that I had to make the, the, the fourth bottle. I just ran to get it, and it's natural. It's uh, in uh, room temperature. It's not. I, I haven't put it into the. Right. The way I see that uh, the second wine or the bottle number four, 
I see as a medium, medium garnet. Could be pale. I mean, I have a terrible light and a terrible glass, you know. So it's not actually a glass. Um, I think it has a medium plus intensity of aromas. And it's quite clear, just sort of dry plums, earthy, leather, um, um, spicy, um, sweet spice aromas, a little bit of gamey, um, you know, black fruit, red fruit, but on a dry side, like a dry strawberries, dry cherries and so on and so on. So for me, the wine is going towards the um, fully developed as opposed to developing. If I was to choose a side, I'd say it's fully developed. It's more tertiary as opposed to secondary or primary aromas. And for me, the wine is dry, has a medium body. It has a high alcohol, um, medium acidity, medium tannins. But the tannins, I, I agree with Vinny. They're fine, they're fine. But, however, they are quite dusty. I mean, the way that you feel the tannins are quite dusty. Um, medium minus intensity or medium intensity, but it, it's, it's a short finish. Um, I think that the wine finish, finish is quite short and quite dusty and quite tertiary. All you get is the dryness right now and the dustiness and a little bit of smoke. If you're not familiar with medicinal, that's quite medicinal right now and finish. So I would say it's good as opposed to very good and outstanding right now. Um, it's rather simple. Once you finish the wine, it's rather simple. When you get a, a 20 years old Bordeaux wine, a mature Bordeaux wine, of um, a cru class, say, you know, that's medium plus fin uh, length, medium plus finish or medium finish, but quite, quite complex with a lot of aromas and flavors. It's, it's not coming through here. Um, yeah, I agree. I think it's coming from a moderated with um, ocean sea breeze influence to this wine. So Northern California or Washington State is where I would be, you know. Um, and I think it's a simple wine that was supposed to be drunk young. However, it didn't get sold, so we are able to enjoy now. Um, but it does show the varietal character. And the way that I get to the varietal character, which I, I would say Melo is the main component of the blend or of the wine, I would say because of the medium acidity and this sort of a dry fruit tertiary aromas, which I think is a wine that has five to six years old. So it's 2014 or 2015 sort of thing, sort of vintage. So the variety that can um, mature quite quickly, it's mellow. Mellow is a great variety that quite quickly can, can develop these tertiary aromas. And the simple the wine is, the quicker it develops. That's, that's the way it works. So if you get a, um, a humble Medoc wine that has a very good, um, like a 60% of Merlot to the blend or 70% of Merlot to the blend, you know, in five years, it's tertiary already. So that, that's how it works. Um, so why is not Napa Valley? Because Napa Valley makes a lot of Merlot. It lacks the muscularity. It lacks the... Um, pardon. Sorry, guys. Um, so, if you had a Napa Valley Melo, which you know, there's quite a, quite a lot Melo coming from Napa Valley, outstanding quality. There will be more depth. There will be there will be more concentration. There will be more acidity to the wine. The alcohol would still be on 14 plus percent. Um, there would be a lot more concentration and finish to this wine, even acidity. I don't think it's the case. So that's why I go lower on quality and I go either and I go towards a more cooler or moderated climate. So these are important clues towards this wine. 
obviously, you don't get to know whether the wine is on the screw cap or not. The thing. There are two things about this wine. There are three and moderated acidity. These are two clues. With regards to the first wine, you have high acidity, medium tannins, but you get this sort of a sweetness to the wine, sweetness to the fruit, you know, dry, sweet fruit, and, and sweetness towards the end of the wine that leads you to a variety. Shall we get to know the varieties or shall we get to know um, to the wines? So that's the third wine. Am I embarrassing myself? So it's the launch. Um, Heritage Reserve Zinfandel from California, 2018, as you can actually see. So, oh, um, and is actually 14 and a half percent alcohol. So it's high alcohol as opposed to 13. So yeah, I got wrong this one, really wrong. I, I didn't perceive the alcohol at all. And our second wine, the rather simple wine called Two Vines Merlot 2015, from, uh, which actually has 13.5% alcohol. So it's, it's medium alcohol, so I thought, I thought it was high. That actually is from 2015, Columbia Valley in Washington State, Columbia Valley. So yeah, Vinny, you got right going uh, up north, northern um, state of California, actually getting to Columbia. Uh, I don't know, I, ha I perceived the second wine, the alcohol quite high, and I, and I didn't get the high alcohol to Zinfandel. But you know what? If we know that the Zinfandel is a variety that, eat, that usually makes high alcohol, full body, medium plus to full, um, and has this sort of a sweetness, is expected to have a high alcohol to the wine. So you can close your eyes, if, if, if you know it's Zinfandel, you can actually close your, your eyes and say, it's high alcohol. Yeah, voila. So <clears throat> let's search online how much those wines cost. Cost. Um, what's the first wine? The Lodge. The um, Lodge Reserve. Um, it's not just about the about the cost; it's how it was made. Um, Sonoma, Sonoma, Sonoma Winery Dacon, Vivino. Okay, that is um. Um, Thiago, yeah. In the Boise Collection website, mm -hmm. they say winemaking selects lots of old and new vines in from that were blended to develop the complex fruit forward wine before being aged in primarily stainless steel tanks. A small portion of the wine was aged in seasoned American and Hungarian oak barrels yeah. to impart a light oak characteristic while allowing the wine to stay true to its varietal character. Yeah, I have the same, the same, um, the same speech from another from another website called PussyCollection.com. So he has American and Hungarian oak barrels. It does not say how much of the wine, the percentage that goes to uh, that goes into um, American and Hungarian oak barrels. But yeah, I mean, it wasn't very. It wasn't very clear. I mean, there was a few hints of um, of um, um, spicy notes, but hey, I mean, um, the wine wasn't 
it wasn't a oaky sort of wine. It was more of a fruit forward style wine. But again, um, but you know, it's good that they say um, um, old vines and younger vines blended together. So you know that that that's good because it's it's saying to us, listen to the wine. That is a concentration that comes from old vines, and the, the, the probably that is a little bit of a um, higher acidity of tannins that is unbalanced, that is coming from younger vines. Um, so you know it's something that we learn from the wine. But um, how much does it sell for? Have you got a um, have you got a price for it? In, um, I'll say in um, let me say let me see in UK. I just got a site. Hey, wines are called the UK. Let's see how much they sell for. Hmm. In stock, for fifteen pounds, fourteen ninety nine. Two thousand and nineteen. That's two thousand eighteen. But it shouldn't change much. Yeah. So they say for they, they sell for um, to consumer for fifteen pounds direct to consumer fifteen pounds is about I guess seventeen dollars so I said something about eight to ten dollars so we are quite wrong here um, but it's definitely not premium at all I would say medium medium price medium priced. That's where I think I would go for. I wouldn't go for entry level at all. Thiago, there's a, a website that says that retail, the media, the average retail price of this wine is $13, and they are selling it for uh, $6.5 the bottle. Okay, what's the, the website? Uh, bottlebarn.com. Bottlebarn, okay. Yeah, from Santa Rosa, California. Yeah, difficult to sell, difficult to, to tell, I mean. Yeah. Uh, but uh, in other North American websites, $12 the bottle. So I guess it's around uh, between 10 and $15 the bottle. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. I think that's, that's more right, 10 to $15. Yeah. Okay, and the second one... I found um, on wine.com, um, but that's 2014, and they are selling for five dollars. Actually, six ninety nine, but it's unavailable right now. Yeah, I'm afraid it's unavailable. Let me see if I can find another website. No, in wine search it goes around six to eight dollars. Six to eight dollars. Yeah. Okay. Um, there's another website that is called ABC Wine and Spirits, blah blah blah. Um, if you are if you are in Michigan, you can buy for five ninety nine, but it's a different it's a different label. It's called Two Vines. It's a different label, and um, it says Columbia Crest, and so on. So it's it's five ninety nine. I guess it's the same wine. I guess, but the label it's totally different. Let me go um, to another another website, applejack.com. Yeah, but that's coming to me. Mm, doesn't work. Doesn't help. Yeah. Seven forty nine. Descriptor thirteen percent lamp. Uh, but it doesn't say much about how the wine was made. Uh, 
Mm. Okay, let me try to find the producer's website. It doesn't display a lot of information. Yeah, it doesn't. Nope. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, um, it's sold in Brazil by um, wine brands. Um, it doesn't say much either with regards how the wine was made. Um, the same percent alcohol, it says 10, uh, 10 months on um, of barrels, but it doesn't say which. Again, for a wine that retails, is retailing now for like um, $7, 10 below, below $7, or about $7. Probably not much of um, 10% on, on of barrels. So, no more than that, you know, like a 20% maximum of the whole of the wine has seen of barrels, perhaps second use. Um, so it's a simple wine, you can see by the package. It's a simple, simple humble wine, you know, easy drinking. But again, it looks like, and it tastes like a mellow, and it tastes like a simple wine, and it, it, it tastes like a cheap wine. Um, as opposed to the second wine, that it, 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 it does taste like a Zinfandel, um, the sweetness. Um, it does taste like a medium range. Not, it's a simple wine, but tastes like a medium range wine. Um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say twelve months of barrels or ten months of barrels. I would say, you know, second use. You know, I agree with Vinny when he says secondary hints of oak. You know, that that's where I'm at. Uh, but again, it tastes like a medium shelf, fifteen dollars up to fifteen pounds. Sort of thing. Okay, doubts if you can um, um, research further about those wines and, and see how they were made, you know, and can share with us, that would be amazing. And I see you guys in two weeks time, times um, to taste two wines, two red wines. Um, so hope to see you all there and um, cheers. Cheers. Cheers, bye. See you guys. Bye. Bye. Let me enjoy my holiday. Bye bye. 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 Please <laughs> do it. Well deserved.